Hey guys, I'm Dov, and today I'm back with more Total War Warhammer 2 multiplayer action. Today we're here with a good old theological debate, Battle of Montfort between Britonia and the Empire, of course. So let's get to the builds real quick. You can see my Empire force outnumbered nearly 3 to 1, not quite, but uh, yeah, Volkmar the Grim here going to be leading the way. We've got an Amethyst Wizard steam tank, so we're going for double terror chariot. Steam tank in general, very strong against Bretonia. Obviously, the gun is very good against Cav, and it does work against all of their infantry. Uh, spears are just here for some support. We've got hidden in the woods here two units of Demigriff Knights with lances. They're going to be supported by a warrior priest. Take on some enemy heavy cavalry. I wanted to see how the lance Demigriffs would do in this matchup. So we've got a couple of them, a couple of pistoliers doing some scouting, trying to get up and behind, potentially get on some goodies. As for uh, my Bretonian opponent here, he's got a whole line of peasant mobs, spearmen at arms here, many foot squires as well, three foot squires, some archers, a pretty infantry centric force. He does have two units, uh, let's see, mounted yeoman over there, we've got knights of the realm here, second unit there, and a single unit of hippogriff knights for some terror. A fan chantress going to be leading the way with a paladin also on horseback, so getting things underway here. Pulling my uh, steam tank forward. I'm trying to get up so I can shoot kind of up and around the hill and, and kind of negate the hill as a, as a terrain feature, more or less. So you can see I'm kind of squaring up my forces right here. Volkmar pulling up on the flank. Uh, the Pistoliers have been discovered by those Knights of the Realm, but they're taking some damage from the clear shots and from the steam tank. Tank. <laughs> steam tank. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, over here, we've got the uh, Amethyst Wizard. Going to be throwing a Spirit Leech and uh, pulling these Mounted Yeomen straight into an ambush. This is probably overkill Mounted Yeomen, but hey, they're basically just peasants with horses, right? So it's acceptable to completely overkill them. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, my force is over on the far side. You can see here the Paladin getting in, getting a rear attack on the Steam Tank. It's a great, uh, great play there. He's got anti-large, pretty good weapon strength, and a good charge bonus as well. So on the charge especially, he'll be able to do some good damage. Meanwhile, Volkmar just terrifying everyone. He's up to, uh, let's see, 31 kills. About to drop a fat banishment right on this peasant blob here. I mean, it is mostly just a uh, blob of mobs, but at the same time, definitely need to try and get rid of that chaff, and that is certainly one way to do so. Probably should have saved it for the foot squires, but oh well. One of my pistoliers did get chased off the side of the map here. The other pistolier is pulling up and around, so we're going to get the Demigriff Knights in a position to uh, take on the real high-value targets here. Spirit Leech on the Hippogriff Knights. Again, the low model count units are what you want to use that on, even cavalry or, you know, especially like these low model flying units. But a very nice Awakening of the Wood just slows down my forces, so I'm not able to catch up fully. And you can see the uh, Hippogriff Knights are actually able to get back up in the air. And uh, maybe, it uh, looks like they're going for a risky dive here, potentially with the Demigriff Knights. And I can go ahead and counter charge here with the second unit because I have, uh, you know, superiority in numbers. But, oh, well, looks like they actually got caught up there rather than getting a good charge, so maybe not. Front line, more of the same, just uh, peasants and steam tanks and Volkmar having a grand old time. The paladins getting getting in, again, getting some good work done against the steam tank, but hard to really, uh, <laughs> you know, do much against the armor of the steam tank. He uh, doesn't have the best AP values, it's pretty decent, but Hippogriff Knights are going to charge in. We've got a big old shield of thorns on these, uh, on the Bretonian units here from the Fey Enchantress. Uh, bombardment going to be dropped from the Warrior Priest there as I go ahead and pull away. I don't want to leave these Demigriff Knights in combat for too long. Of course, they do have better sustained stats in terms of melee defense, but that 60 charge bonus is really what you want to take advantage of with the Lance Demigriff. Cycle charge them as much as possible. Volkmar comes in. He drops some fat buffs. Comes in with the heavy hammer of Sigmar here. Grand Shield of Faith as well. So these Knights of the Realm and the Hippogriff Knights getting punished pretty badly, but the balance power is still pretty close. Uh, my infantry, you can see, has obviously gotten eaten up by superior Bretonian numbers. We're down to uh, less than 300 troops now at this point. There's still quite a few archers, and this uh, this paladin also is relatively healthy. You can see the steam tank has taken quite a bit of damage, so we'll see. My uh, Amethyst Wizard does get caught out here by some Knights of the Realm. Gets routed off because, you know, he's low armor. Those anti-large Knights of the Realm will have a pretty easy time. So I'm going to chase with the Demigriff Knights, try and bail him out. Or to push the uh, Knights of the Realm away. Get good old spooky Gandalf back in action. 
I don't know, what, what should we call him? Jafar? I, let's go with Jafar, sure. Jafar is, uh... Yeah, he's a, he's a character. Um, <laughs> but uh, we've got some bumper cars action going on in here as the Paladin continues to wail away. He doesn't really want to go after Volkmar too much, potentially, maybe until the late game. But Volkmar is going to be tough for this army to take down um, without the Hippogriff Knights. They really are the main tool here. You can see they drop down, terrify the, away those Spearmen real quick. Very nice play there. Uh, my forces are getting very, very thin in terms of numbers, but we still have both these units of Demis with pretty good uh, amount of models. Don't have any way of healing them right now, and you can see four unit models there on the Royal Hippogriff Knights. They're about to get a nice regrowth, bring their HP back up, so... It's going to keep the Demis mobile as much as possible, keep charging down these various isolated units here, just pancake those <laughs> four foot squires. Go ahead and pull away. Uh, the steam tank can also set up again and start to use its gun to blast the Hippogriffs at range, just to kind of try and keep the pressure on them, keep the HP damage going, uh, not really give them any rest or anything. Volkmar continuing to just be an absolute terror, literal terror, all of the peasants. And ooh, looks like a banishment on the archer line. How will it do? Uh, pretty good. Looks like it ripped art quite a few. Unfortunately, it doesn't spin away. Yeah, it, it kind of lingers in, a, in no man's land over here for a little bit, so wasn't the best RNG, but pretty good on the initial uh, burst there. These Knights of the Realm look kind of kind of juicy here for the Demigriffs, so go ahead and try and hunt them down. Demigriff Knights, I believe, are slightly faster. Uh, 75, about, actually exactly the same. Yeah, that's right. Bretonian Knights, they do have lower armor than Empire. Uh, cavalry, Empire Knights, you know, Reichsguard, stuff like that, but... As a result, they have a little bit higher speed. Actually, significantly higher speed. Actually, uh, Empire Knights come in at, what, like 66, 67, something like that? So, yeah. Anyway, back to the units, actually. On the field here, you can see the uh, Hippogriff Knights continuing to take that pressure, but they are going to drop down here and try and finish off this Steam Tank. Definitely a, a smart play. You know, this high-value unit, no way to heal it. If you can get it off the battlefield, it's going to keep the balance power from getting too far out of hand. But I'm going to come in with a rear charge with Volkmar here. Block up some of the models if I can. We do get one blocked up here. Demigriff Knights charge in. How about this? Demigriff Knights versus Hippogriff Knights. <laughs> Definitely an epic battle. Who are the better Griffs? Well, this time around, it's the Demigriffs. But I'd imagine in enough numbers... I mean, if you bring, like, two or three Royal Hippogriff Knights, I believe, what, you can only bring two anyway. But my opponent, a little bit of a misplacement there on the... Uh, on the Comet, which is a bit rough, would have done a ton of damage to the Demigriff Knights if he had connected on, on the nice little blob there. But Volkmar going to drop another round of buffs here. Some Grand Shield of Faith. Layering that with the Shield of Faith from the Warrior Priest. And it looks like my opponent's going to go ahead and throw in the towel there. So, yeah, well played. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that one. It was an interesting, interesting game. Uh, my opponent, I think, went a little too heavy on the infantry um, from... Bretonian standpoint, I mean, your your strength is cavalry, and now granted, Empire has a lot of good ways of dealing with cavalry. You know, cannon's very effective, steam tank obviously is a cannon, uh, you know, you've got your Demigriff Knights as well, but for Bretonian's side, uh, my opponent didn't bring any Westing Knights, which I think are very, very good in this matchup. Um, general, especially if you buff them, they trade very well into Demigriff Knights. If you get like a rear charge and have them supported and everything, I mean, it's, it's pretty cost-effective, and just in general, they're going to give you a better AP option than Foot Squires here, so I'd maybe cut these Foot Squires, use the funds to maybe upgrade these two Knights of the Realm. Questing Knights? Uh, let's go ahead and just jump straight into it, actually. I'm going to talk about some things. Um, so, yeah, for that build, I would probably have cut, cut that down to get the Questing Knights. Maybe if you had enough, let's see, Foot Squires cutting them, you could probably have enough upgrade one of them to the Regiment of Renown even, which has excellent melee stats, 50 attack, 45 defense, especially if you can buff them up uh, very, very strong. Lewin is also a good option to consider here. He can run into problems against Franz 1v1 in the air, but there are some things he can do to help mitigate that. Um, obviously, the Fan Chanter is pretty solid as well. She's a little bit snipeable, but having the Paladin there certainly helps. Um, but, like, if you were to go with uh, King Lewin here... Go with something like this. Definitely want to keep Ladies Champion, Beloved Son of Bretonia, and always take Sword of Throne. We're going to take a Damsel Lore of Life as well. And since Lewin's going to be our source of terror, we're actually going to go to Pegasus Knights, and this is going to leave us pretty thin up front. But I think we can probably make it work against 
Empire. I'm a little bit uh, sad about the lack of archers here, so what I might actually do, I've got these Royal Pegasus Knights to regular Pegasus Knights and grab some archers. I've got the Foot Squires, definitely not too happy about them in the matchup. I don't think they're a while. Still got, what, 11 or 1400 points, so different things you could do. You could grab a trebuchet just to give you some long-range pressure, even if you don't end up defending it. Uh, just grabbing, like, a trebuchet and it to defend it. You know, like, you the spears to stand by. Um, can give you some good pressure. Just continue to shoot at demigriff models. Uh, because it does really good AP damage, um, you kind of plunk away there. It's, it's pretty decent. I would even say something like this might be pretty, pretty solid against the Empire. You could use Chevrons to upgrade Trebuchet, or you could come in here and grab a poison on a couple of these bows. It's a nice uh, bus, but something like this I think might be a little bit better fine-tuned against the Empire. Um, this way you can kind of dive in with Lewin, you dive him directly on the Demigriff Knights with the Sword of Crone active, and then rear charge with the Pegasus Knights and with the Companions and the other Questing Knights if you can. You need to run down like Great Swords, Steam Tanks, uh, Vol Volkmar, the Questing Knights will do a great job of that as well. You got the Field Trebuchet to apply some long-range pressure, so even if you know, you're forced to go to them, you can still you need to pound away at a distance, and yeah, let me know what you guys think. But uh, it's an interesting matchup. Definitely Empire versus Bretonia matchup that is uh, a bit tough for, for the Realms of Men, you know, to be fighting each other. But at the same time, it's one of the more interesting matchups, in my opinion. You know, two non-monster factions kind of trying to take each other on. Very feels very classic Total War. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you do like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button. So every time I upload a new video, you'll notified. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.